Good. Uh... Actually, pause. Is this going to get copyright, Garth? Uh, what is this from? What is this song? Music? Final Fantasy Seven, potentially. Mm, Final Fantasy Seven remake. We've Ooh, had Final Fantasy remake. Seven music before, haven't we? And I think we copy. I think we might have had that same question. Uh, paste. the problem is I don't remember what the outcome was. Final Fantasy Hollow Skies. Hollow Skies. Uh, looks like it's I that think... video. Uh, this, think the will. uploader of this video <laughs> has 36 subscribers. I don't think it's going to be a problem. Um. Unless he doesn't monetize it. He doesn't give a shit about his strength. Yeah, true. There's a small chance. I can't remember how finicky Square Enix is about their shit. They're definitely on the more stringent side. Hmm. If you want to be safe, but sorry, you can just swap it. Okay, well... You can also see I'd how long see. it's been uploaded for. <laughs> Ten minutes. January 26, 2022. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, so about, about a year. It's not mm -hmm. taken down yet. So, you know. Proceed. <laughs> I'll push it out. You okay. know what? I know something that isn't. I'm glad you checked, though. Because Transistor music. Mm-hmm. Paper boats, but no vocal. <laughs> Majula music, hell yeah! <laughs> Respect Never. the Majula music. Yeah. So, so solid. All right, proceed. Let's see, where do we... We started finishing our rest at the checkpoint, I believe. We formulated a game plan, more particularly Byron, uh, coupled with... Uh, Jackson Doran pitched a plan on luring out the Earth axes out of their roost. And then, well, they would be lured out by Captain Maven. And then they would run interception duty, or interference duty, rather, with a good old bait and switch strat uh, involving Byron, Caster, and Goddard. I believe were the three. Yes. And everyone else would sort of do. Not Pacha. They'd pick off the Earth axes that were distracted by the bait crew. Uh, during that time, we could go deal with the Alpha without getting uh, hassled by the rest of the pack? I don't know what it got. Wing? Whatever. Uh, Block, we murder. got in position with Jericho being uh, critical because of the silence and getting people set up and in place. Uh, we did also I guess sort of out of game, but also in game. See that the best defensive best trio defense. are Quentin, Quentin Mule. Mule. Who's the third one? Quentin Mule. Uh, it was Goddard, Goddard as well? Okay. Goddard. It was Goddard. <laughs> yeah, because basically I think it was summarized as give them 10 minutes and they can make Fort Knox. <laughs> well, maybe not Fort Knox specifically, but they can make a damn defensible position. Because Mule could just kind of make out. things. Goddard's brilliant and. Uh, wow, brain. Quentin is from a bad part of town and knows how to make traps. The thing is, we might just be like over attributing that. Also, I hear an echo myself again. Uh, we might be over attributing that just because he's from Detroit. We don't know. Uh, regardless, we did get everyone in the places where they had to be. Uh, Byron did need to uh, attack Jericho in a convincing manner, quote unquote. In order to summon his his steed, which which definitely threw everyone for a loop for a sec. Where it's just like, wait, is he fucking betraying us? Or approximately now? Round. Yeah. Uh, but we did proceed back in town, back into town, and we took a look around a cave where people were. Uh landslided in caved in that's a word mm -hmm. and we're starved out we got to look at a temple which had very uh particular icons on it particularly you know their helmets their helmeted designs uh which was next to a great grand tree which had some uh swept aside leaves and such making a a trail for us to follow courtesy of uh carolyn and flora and rex 
we checked out the tree and we found the denizens of this town who were absolutely aghast about how naturally fucking loud we are. Or in the flip side, we were astonished by how naturally fucking quiet they were. Uh, we did end up speaking with, I'm assuming she's like their alderman, their leader, the covacies of a mayor, I don't know. Uh, her name is Selena, Miss Selena. And, you know, we put the offer to her and her town of like, we could get rid of these things. And they sort of took us up on the offer. <clears throat> At least enough to point out a very critical detail of the bell that the Alpha Eurythax uh, roosts upon defensively. There were some close calls of noise and movement. Uh, Carolyn was one, was the only one that wasn't really affected too much because she actually had the license to move around and check out the place, scope out the place. And we did come to the realization that Miss Selena herself is a Maybe not quite there yet, but a fledgling Sister of Light. Which, you know, works out well with the light that she often describes her grandmother following, as well as these fireflies that seem, uh, how to say, drawn to our presence. Our lively presence. <laughs> but not Jericho's. Can't imagine why. We got the plan of motion, though. We set about back through town, saw ye olde bell, and then promptly pounced on the Alpha Eurythax. Eurythax. Whatever. And if I'm being honest, being I think honest, it went pretty well. Also, hello, Echo Me. It went pretty well. No one died. Uh, we had some yeah. close calls, certainly. But, you know, we brought down the Eurythax to the ground, yeah. the bell stunned it. We cleaned its clock and then extracted out before the uh, normal non alpha urethaxes came back and fucked us. <laughs> the uh, grenade Maven gave us actually came in pretty handy. Yeah. Thank you, Captain Maven, and thank you, Lucian, for making that throw and endangering yourself and taking the thing. <laughs> <laughs> the effort is appreciated, though. You're welcome. <laughs> there's thank you thank you in hindsight there's not a lot that could have went more there, there's a few saves people could have made to take like less damage Besides yeah that, like, and and it if, went, uh, like good yeah, no if, shit. um chatting was a little <laughs> bit faster he would have been monumentally also that, in a better way you know what, what once he gets to like our level or so you get like a bonus in speed anyway so it'll get better <laughs> Just, just give him mobile. We'll just give him wrong. the mobile feet. <laughs> <laughs> that wait, wait, ten wait. spare feet yeah. might save his life. Wait, we got, we or got someone else. Five speed. No, no. Oh, no, okay, in the past, okay. uh, O gave us uh, five feet of movement. Oh, he did. Like, yeah, you, did, you didn't track it. For, oh my god, uh, wait, I can't wait. remember. It was in the announcements a long while back. Wait, yeah, no, wait. I have it on my sheet. I just haven't been fucking using it. Oh my god, I'm in my brother in Christ. My brother, no. <laughs> My brother and saying <laughs> doing this because I do not recall this. Jordan at Kurt. Kurt. Do be there. There you go. Oh my god, I have totally missed that. Oh, have you been five feet short this whole time? I don't think this is. I don't think it's ever mattered in any of the situations I've been in. I mean, yeah, but. Five feet is that in that weird spot of just like it might make a difference, it might not. Who knows? But like, hey, you know what for the future? No, it's for the future. Hey, I'm slightly you. faster now, cool. Whee! Anyhow. Mm. Um I think that's a roundabout it. We discovered that we're still bad at evac and didn't plan on where to go exactly afterwards. Listen, <laughs> we've gotta work on things one at a time, okay? One at a time. We we successfully did not kill a town. All right, you know that's, what? I think that's a pretty good first step. Yeah, the, we can work on the extraction yeah. part afterwards. I love this. This is good. <laughs> oh no! Oh, one of our allies the, died. Uh, oh no! Look at him. He's, he's, he's <laughs> his head fucking exploded. Oh, no. uh, we also got the laughing blade. I think 
uh, Bradford just picked it up and stowed it away for now. Because it's super cursed. We shouldn't do much more than put it in a box and wait. Imagine using a cursed sword. That'd be wild, man. That'd be absolutely bananas. Oh yeah, and Alec, Alec, Jericho, uh, I can't remember what this mentioned, uh, went to fucking town on this bell and also helped with stunning this big son bitch whose head exploded from sound and uh, several attacks. I got that the ride light on it for nice. a little bit, that was fun. Okay, now I think we're done. So yeah, you, we have finished with you having sex successfully. Taken down the Alpha Yurtha. You, uh, did y'all report this in yet? I think you did. I don't um, think we did. I think we ended we, with Channing ended up... sharing the information because yeah. he didn't say it out loud earlier. Yeah, oh right, <laughs> yeah. If, if he said it out loud, then uh, somebody probably would have noticed. You know. Yeah, so it, it okay. kind of left with us extracting, and then, like Jacob said, most likely receiving that information. And we're just kind of sitting there like, what the fuck do we do? Do we have an extraction plan? Like, where do we extract to? Because we don't have any silence anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> to do not. Well, um... We jump in there the is... There is the dock Dumb. that has a boat, and we could look at it, at least. I don't think that would be very wise. It'd be pretty noticeable, as well as... As as good as Blackwatch is at, like, giving us the training we need, I don't know if... Sales, Vehicles caught in parentheses water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't think, think any of us have any form of vehicle training, actually. Now I think about it. Vehicles, <laughs> land, or water. We're, we're dick out of luck on that one. This building is entirely filled in, as is this one, so we can't duck and cover into there. Uh, Where's, like, the nearest tree line? Is it, like, that way or that way or something? We're at the docks. So it's technically both ways. Fair. Dude, just want to, like, try and make, make a break to thank you. Yeah, yeah, so we're literally so we're basically right like in the middle. middle. Yeah, we can go either way. Uh, well, more of our members are over here, as well as I think the flank team can probably get over here pretty quickly. So we should well, quick quickly as opposed to quiet. There are two different things. That is true. Oh yeah, we also learned what's on this island. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, she did tell us some great evil. We ah, also how bad can it be? Ah, we've seen worse. Yeah, no, um, we'll be fine. <laughs> uh, we did also get a uh, visualization of uh, that island, and boy, howdy, it is great evil. A good descriptor of the energy coming off that shit. No, I think it's misunderstood. <laughs> we can fix it. Yeah, yeah. Well, Along we, with we, Prince, we... Prince Augustine. Okay, we're digging around. So, how do we extract? Um, Miss Selena didn't discuss. A, an extraction method for us, right? She talked about. A way for her people to move around and get settled into their hidey hole. Correct. I, uh, that's yeah. Right. So, so we don't have, don't have anything. Shit. Doran had mentioned if you make enough noise in a spot, the right way, you can discombobulate them. So, so maybe we have one of the teams do that while we try to extract through one of the tree lines. Wait, man, we're dumb as we're dumb as hell. Yes. Miss Selena said that the bell was a defense mechanism against them. We have the bell. <laughs> Are you like, just saying we bring this around if they get too close? We ding. No, I'm just saying if they get close, we just keep hitting the fucking bell. <laughs> if they want to keep coming closer, then that's on them. But they're going to do it in the really bad ways. I mean, yeah, we could at least stay near the bell until everybody's grouped up again. Biggest bell? Like Liberty Bell size. Big bell. <laughs> According to my knowledge from National Treasure, that means it's a big bell. <laughs> yeah, it's it's about probably six feet with a five foot diameter. 
Mm. So we cannot just bring it around. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> it's fucking heavy as shit. Uh, I still have a spell slot. We can do pass without a trace to try and regroup, but that comes with some risk. As well, we'd only need to pour the distance from here to the tree line, in theory. True. Right, so it wouldn't be that bad. And more importantly, you know, it would just get us into our own defensive line. Could Doran uh, make the bell worry about Oh boy, I can't wait to fail at this. Uh, yeah! Shazam, Shazoom, Shazinga. Curse you, disadvantage. <laughs> What the fuck is <laughs> what plus twelve? What is this? I have a thing that lets me add a D eight and a thing that adds a D four, and they both rolled really good. Matt, Wait, how do you have Hunter's Instinct and Hunt? Wait, okay, because Hunter's guys. Intuition is from Dragon Mark. Hunter's Instinct is a uh, tweak on a Ranger feature that I was letting me run. It's basically like, oh, you can add uh, a. It was originally a D six, then it became a D eight. Uh, to a certain sect of skills. All right, so uh, note to self in future, never give you bardics when it comes to these rules. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you really you... want to find something, yes, but... Yeah. No, man, I'm fucking that'd be a waste. <laughs> we guys <laughs> shared amongst the rest of us normies. <laughs> okay. Uh, Bradford, you start hearing... Whoop. Okay. Yeah, we, we, we should go. We, we need to go now. We're starting to hunt. Does it? Does he hear like a few whoops to try and determine if they're coming closer to us or moving somewhere else? You definitely hear a few, and they're definitely. Oh no. We should go. Um. You do see, uh, two, uh, red lights go up, uh, indicating exactly what you were. Anticipating, right? Uh, Quint will light up. Oh, I think I already did this last session. Actually, I light up a green rock, or not a green rock, a, a rock covered in moss or something, and then or algae, and then chuck it in the air with the sling. Just... All right, let's get going. Time ain't waiting. Bradson, hit it. <laughs> All right, he hits the thing. Or hits it. He hit the jukebox. <laughs> he just punched himself so inside it. Ow. Uh, I guess. Do you, go? you want to shoot for this do tree you, line? Do you head to the tree line, or you, do you travel through the uh, marsh of the dock? The marsh might we go provide slower. additional cover. It will provide additional cover, but also, like, what's in the water? <laughs> That's what God at the trident in this fucking boat. Yeah, actually, yeah, there... There was mention of deep water. Yeah, but only the deep water part right now. Oh, like, only this. Yeah, definitely not, not the shore, right? Could it be the shore? I, I I say we go the the kind of marshy bits into the tree line. Okay, that's good. Yeah, as you start passing through the marsh, you start seeing them overhead. They would definitely have gotten you. Got you. Oh. Uh, roll a stealth. One whole stealth. All of us. Make yeah, the plus 10 on that average after. Or... I don't mm -hmm. think I need... If you're not moving, I only need two rolls. To make sure they can't pick you up from any foliage or water that's moving. So okay. whoever is going to make the area quiet, because that's what's really. Looks at Bradford <laughs> with the pass of a trace. Looks at Garth. Oh shit! Well, I guess I answered my question. No, it does not add to survival or stealth. Uh... Do, 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 do. I, I give you guidance, I guess. I would appreciate guidance, especially with that shitty of a stealth. Thank you, Bradford. Oh, hey, we both were three. I will have a three. Thank you. Right. So, plus ten. <clears throat> so, that's one roll. What's the other roll? That's a good stealth. Yeah, amazing stealth. Uh, he rolled an eight. 
Yeah, I got a total of 14 on that stealth. It's not great. No, technically got a total of 24. Okay, fantastic. I have a 24 with Passive Out Trace. Oh, true. You have, a, you have a plus 5 to give him, Jordan? Oh, for no, I don't oh, have a plus don't... 5. No, 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 no. I don't. I was like, Flash of Genius? Oh, actually. Oh, yeah, I do oh, yeah, have I do. a Flash of Genius. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. So that's what now, Every like, little bit helps. Cons- remember the lap when we rolled stealth last time and we literally barely <laughs> worked it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I had a plus five. By like a decimal. <laughs> so I got okay. a plus five from him. I so also that's... have a thing to give myself a plus two. I just forgot about this until just now. Uh, This is a one. It, it's from his uh, cookery. 25, thing. 27. Okay. I need one more. From uh, anyone? From anyone that's not Brad. I can roll. Yeah, you do it. Go for it. Put this stealth expertise to good use. Yeah, I don't know why you didn't roll. Oh, so good. <laughs> uh, no guidance because again, my guidance to him. Uh, so you that's could twenty. Do, you, could, you could double stack it. Okay, so twenty nine with the passable trace. Okay. I rolled worse than you. Technically, <laughs> you did. You did, and you destroyed. Oh. <laughs> So about all those Jeez. modifiers, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> what was my number again? 28? 27. 27? 27, yeah. 27 to 29? I mean, with, with, I got 29, so that brings us to average 28. <laughs> if you got a 27. Huh? Very interesting. So, so that's a brown pants going on. Uh, that is 20... To twenty-seven. Okay. All right. Uh. Re. Oh God. This... Reroll everything. Okay. Slash oh, power. Oh, no. Not two hundred thirty. You know what? Uh, yes. We're gonna have a third. Ooh. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Is being sneaky in the forest kind of a ranger vibe? It, you you're in a marshland, yeah. Yeah, you got it. You got, you got it. it. I believe in you. I, I'm channeling my energy. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a thirty. Plus, you, plus you dropping 10. guidance on her? I'll drop guidance on her if I'm allowed to. Okay. Twenty four. And then ten for passive choice. Okay, so let's see if you can beat the. Stop it! Stop that! They tied! That's, they tied! That's an actual tie oh. again. What the I fuck? Can... How do we go again? <laughs> can I get her with this to give it a plus two to make us just barely edge oh, okay. out? Okay, the there you go. All right. Okay. <laughs> just. Where are my down them uses? I am... Ah, damn. <sighs> uh, you get these back on a short rest or a long rest? Uh, this one specifically is a long rest. Okay, I'd like to say seven charges for a short rest is busted. <laughs> Okay, yeah, dude. You, I'm working on the balancing of it. You get there. You beat them. You think they're about to swoop on you. But then they don't. They see the down one in the middle of a crowd bleeding and filling it up. And you hear them start whooping. But you start hearing those take on a predatorial nature. As they do a very curious thing where they all start doing um, sort of like circles. So it looks like pattern. Well, like like vulture circling something or. Ooh. So they all start like doing these circle pattern out. And you see each time they cross each other. They're getting a little bit more hostile. Oh, wait, are they squaring each other up as well? They're establishing new dominance. Roll survival. I can certainly do that. Can I do that? Absolutely. So I am not a survivalist. Got... Neither am I. Is, do I have advantage because it's a monster thing? That, yeah, this is definitely qualifies for all of that. Nice. Oh, good job, Gregor. You did great. <laughs> oh, Jesus. 
it's not like it's vital information, right? Like, yeah. We can pour on the subject. I still think they're just whooping at each other to establish dominance. So you notice that each of these, each time they do it, they're taking a higher stance over. So one is always trying to get over the and after a few minutes of this, they have disappeared into the darkness above. To the point that you can't even see them. But you can still hear the faint whooping. So, what do you do? Keep going forward. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're not we're not fucking around with this. No, we ain't in the woods yet. Even though, even though, I kind of want to know what this boat is, but we're not fucking doing that right now. What are you gonna do with a boat with like, <laughs> like six people? <laughs> know, it takes more than six people to man a boat. I think. <laughs> well, no, not like man. I just wanted to like see what was in there. How could we see a boat? It's it's irrelevant. Anyways, yeah, it's not funny. The trident was in the was boat, in the you boat, fool. What it was. No, the trident was actually in the runt, Eurothak. It's a, that's why he's a runt, because he, <laughs> he was injured. Yeah, you guys, we just didn't see it. We, we didn't zoom in enough on that specific token. Yeah, it was actually in place of toes. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder he was weak. He couldn't even grab food properly. Old one toe. So you, uh, I'm assuming, are y'all moving back to the rest of the group? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. As they begin, you probably meet about right here as they start moving towards you. You regroup with your uh, cadre? Your cadre? Yeah. That's cadre, cohort, 